could I get two cheese loaded burgers, the bacon version, one deep sea double, apple pie, and a large diet coke? 1335. All right. <laughs> I'm in the drive-thru at Checkers in Calhoun, Georgia. And as usual, I picked up a deep sea double for my wife. Welcome to the studios and laboratories of Joe is Hungry, located in the friendly city of Fairmount, Georgia. We just got back from Checker Burgers to check out their new cheese loaded molten cheeseburger. It is a new release to their menu. It is, for what I understand, here for a limited time only. It consists of two patties sandwiched around a thick cut of pepper jack cheese, again topped with melted cheese, topped with onion tanglers, which is, I assume is onion rings, lettuce, tomato, pickles, ketchup, and mayonnaise all served on a toasted bun. Let's move on and check out the food. Now, the first thing I would like to do is compare it to the advertisement photos to see if what I bought actually looks like what they're advertising. I'm gonna have to put Bessie to the side and we're gonna have to use a real knife to cut through this thing to give you the proper view. You see the ad? This is the real thing. This is what comes through the drive-through. Doesn't look the same, but it's not horrific. You can see the cheese right there, the tomato, the lettuce, and everything you're supposed to have. The onion rings are not crispy and look a little worse for wear. We've seen what it looks like. It does not measure up to the pictures, but really, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. So let's move on to the Joe Bite test because really that's what it's all about. <laughs> Actually, I like the flavor. You can taste the bacon. This is not extremely salty bacon. The bacon actually has more of a sweet taste to it than it does a salty taste, which strangely enough, works really well with a sandwich. The bun is not their normal hamburger bun that I can tell. It looks more like the egg roll variety. I can taste the tomatoes, the pickles, the mayonnaise, all of it works really well together. There was one thing that I was actually kind of afraid of was the uh, pepper jack cheese, because you all know if you watched any of my videos that I am a spice wimp. If it's hot at all, I can't stand it. I don't like the taste. It gives me a stomach ache. You'll probably never see me do a review on spicy chicken nuggets. Not gonna happen, not here. The bacon adds a lot, although it's not overwhelming. I think I would like to have a little more saltier bacon because uh, I kind of like salty stuff. They do have Diet Coke, so rallies. You did good with that. As far as your cup quality, I don't know if you can see on camera how much is there. Well, you can rest assured there is a good portion of it still floating around on the floorboard of my car where my cup fell over on the way here. Take a lesson off the subway with your cups. People like us will be happier that don't have cup holes in their car. I like the egg roll bun. A little bit of spicy there. Hopefully it won't get too much more hot because it doesn't take much to reach threshold with me. It wasn't as hot to begin with but it's kind of building up a little bit as I eat the sandwich. So I'm not really liking the spiciness of it. Although it's not completely decimating the sandwich. For a value, I'm gonna give them uh, a nine, nine and a half on value because the non-bacon version is, according to Ad, is $2.99 and the bacon version is $3.99. However, where I ate today, the bacon version is $2.49. That's actually not a bad price for this sandwich. So I have to give them high marks on the value. Because of the heat, I'm gonna take off a point, even though there are a lot of people out there who would really like that. So we're gonna go with an eight out of 10 on the taste. It didn't measure up to the uh, ads that they have and the photographs that they put in the ads, but it wasn't that far off. Oh man, I got some heat in that time, my goodness. You people out there that eat peppers, what is wrong with you? 
I'm still gonna give it an eight out of 10, but I wouldn't get it again because the pepper jack cheese just burned my mouth. So that's out. And the sad part is I have actually ordered two of those. So I have another one there and I don't have a dog anymore to feed it to. Not that I would feed that to my dog. I don't think she likes heat. She's not alone with us. So what am I saying? Had a different kind of cheese stuck in the middle. Man, I would be like giving that thing nines out of 10. If you find this interesting, if you find this entertaining, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I ordered a deep sea double and an apple pie. Well, they forgot the apple pie.